Hi, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Wore my red sweater for the occasion to work and now it's almost five o'clock. I'm sitting in the carpool pickup line waiting for Christian to get out of clinic. Normally carpool together, I keep waiting for him to walk out the door because I saw him getting all of his stuff. He'll drop me off and pick me up from work, especially when it's freezing because I hate walking in the cold. But he was in clinic late today and I was just ready to get out of the office because it's Friday and it's Valentine's Day and we have plans for tonight. So here I am. What'd you say? And I'm so pacey right now. I don't, I'm doing self tanner tonight when we get home because it's just like too much. Ooh, I almost feel like I have the bun better. Let me ask Christian what he thinks. What's up? You look good, babe. Thanks, you too. You wanna tell them where we're going? We're going to Lantern. It's like a Asian fusion restaurant on Franklin Street, Chapel Hill. So it was supposed to be a surprise. I, I literally can't <laughs> surprise her at all. It's well, the worst. This is what happened. We were sitting. Either I get too excited wait. about it where I accidentally say something, or somehow randomly she'll find out. Like, I don't know, through an email, or like this time the lady from the, like, from the restaurant called me. And so I didn't have the number. So I Yeah, we were it sitting on. together. He's like, oh, what's this 919 number? Yeah, I was like, that's kind of weird. So I put it on speakerphone. She's like, hello, sir. We have your reservation for Lantern at 6.30 on... <laughs> and uh, I knew immediately, as soon as she said Lantern, I was, like, I was like, I knew it was for Valentine's Day. And then he looked at me and he was just like... <laughs> I was like, yeah, yep. We'll, we'll be there. I'll see you then. But I'm excited. Because we haven't been there in a really long time. And they have a special menu. Got a little bit dressed up. Christian did not love that I'm wearing tennis shoes with my outfit. But the thing is, Super that's weird. the style. I was trying to tell him. I'm like, people... Just because it's the style doesn't mean you have to conform. To I know, but I love it because then my feet are so comfy. And I can still look cute. You know? Looks like you're about to ball. Oh my, I'm fading Like the green of the grass as the sun when the sky maybe we will be the center sand on the shore. And if time maybe they will be together. Happy Sunday. I didn't have any coffee this morning because it's just not good for my voice. But now I'm just really tired and I'm feeling the afternoon. But since I'm already out and Christian's back at the house, 
I wanted to run a few errands. I really want to go through my jewelry drawer. That's a project that I have for myself today <laughs> because I wear the same like handful of pieces. Oh, that's my small group. Maybe I'll wave. I'll wave in a second. Um, really want to organize my jewelry because I wear the same like handful of pieces over and over really from high school and college things I don't I don't wear it all so I really want to go through that because it's a waste of space and I just need a better way to display my jewelry let's see let's see what we can find well that was a major fail no shelving normally that little bathroom section they have all these different options of shelving and like organizers they had like they had one wooden one and nothing else I did get a couple other things and then my lips really need a color right now because with my self tanner on honestly it's almost a little bit too much I don't really know what happened I didn't even put that much makeup on but it feels like there's too much ah oh my gosh that's so much better hopefully no one noticed how bad I needed lipstick today I had the mic like right here the whole time so hopefully we're fine I went with the coffee. Woo. I'm sure it's the weather too. The weather's not helping. Like, where's the sun? Okay. I'm ready to get these pants off. But before I do, a little OOTD. I got these cute cutie mules from Target. The pants are made well. I forget the exact, I feel like it's like Evelyn or Everett. Ooh, that's tucked in too low. Um, the Everett, they're high-waisted. These are almost like canvas material. Just tucked in a little Old Navy tee. And this sweater is one that Shein sent me a little while ago. I'm sure they probably still have it, but. Ah, <sighs> just like that. The way it should always be. I mean, honestly, the vibe of the outfit stayed the same. It's just this one is sort of like what I would prefer to be wearing. And the other one's like more appropriate for public. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, actually really embarrassed to even open this drawer, but here we go. Because I never wear any of this jewelry, it's now doubled as a junk drawer. And I hate junk drawers. This is really sad. I mean, I get where I was going. I have my accessories, like my, my neck scarves, my head scarves. I have sunglasses in here. Ooh, I was wondering where these were. Um, I have all of our Christmas cards in here. What the heck? Maybe more overwhelming than I thought. Here goes nothing. When did it become okay to write me off like that? What made you think that you could run and turn your back? What made you think that a heart was so dispensable? Who said that whatever snacks was under your control? I never got the choice once you made up your mind Thought that I could trust, thought I could rely on you Guess that's not right, but hey hmm. Are these still cute? Senior year of college. I was so proud of this guy. I'm gonna text my friend, my OG stylist, my roomie who also rocked this. He, if I should keep it or give it away. I'm feeling totally fine, they say. The heartbreak takes time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling totally fine. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. Okay, well, you saw what she said. She says keep it. It is sentimental a little bit because I was so proud of it. So if she keeps it, I keep it. She's way more trendy than me, so. <gasps> Spoon rings. Do you guys remember these? From Charleston, South Carolina. Ooh, actually that looks cute. Discovery I found. I don't even know how old this is, but it's the same like prayer that I need to be praying over my life. I thought my life had to be in order, at peace, all happy.
for me to be able to successfully run on mission and produce good things. But just as I know the Lord doesn't ask me to come to him ready and perfect, he doesn't ask me to come to my dreams ready and perfect to be used or successful. This must have been in regards to callings and, and dreams that I feel like the Lord has placed on my heart. I'm waiting for my whole world and life to be in order before I feel ready to move forward in something. And these vlogs that are, we're so new, we're babies. This is like our second one. But I've wanted to for years because I just want to be able to look back on these memories with Christian. But for one, I've been scared <laughs> because it's just putting like yourself out there. I just felt like, well, we don't have we don't have the dream house with the white kitchen where it's just so cute to vlog in and take photos in. Stupid things like that that will literally keep me from doing something. My heart. So, anyways, I found that. Maybe some of you guys feel that too. I don't know where we learn that. The, the need to have our lives together before we feel like the Lord can use us. Because our lives are never going to be perfect or together. Like that's such a false reality. But anyways, that's one fun thing about cleaning out old drawers is that you find little treasures. Okay, let me show you how far I am. Reveal time. Oh, this feels good. Wow. Until I get my little stand here where I put my everyday stuff. This is at least way more organized. I can see what I have. I have all of my layering necklaces here. My hoops. All of my rings. My stocking rings. Extra backings. My little studs. These are my little bit more glammy. That was successful. Good job, you guys. Thank you for helping. Once Christian gets home... I might just have him cook dinner for me. <laughs> you know, when you're tired and you just really want your person to take care of you. Well, that's me. And my stomach's not feeling great, if you know what I'm saying. Which is probably why I'm so tired. I'm going to put myself here with my laptop and my blanket. <sighs> and probably not move, so... Here we go. Talk too long. So what I'm doing is a wax up. I actually have a little crown of a tooth that someone fractured off. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but someone fractured this off. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it up with wax and then make a duplicate in order to basically make their temporary crown. Um, being you know broken down tooth and now we'll kind of duplicate it and I'll be able to make a temporary crown out of it I'm pretty much out of here so I guess who's home yeah. cooking me dinner he's listening to the office podcast let's go say hi <laughs> and Angela are in a relationship. Hello. So we actually got a lot of comments about this. There were a lot of people who asked... I'm very new at cooking, so already in a we'll see. It's always just kind of up in the air. I think it's the beginning. Oh, we're baking it? You know, they what? both baking kind of... Fish. They like each other, oh, cool. but they also yeah, are annoyed yeah, by each I other. I need to look Every breath you take Every move you make Every bond you take Oh, thanks babe. 
looks so good. Okay. Mmm. Every single day And every word you say Every game you play Every night you stay I'll be watching you